Hello there. How are you? All these beautiful young children depend on goat milk, camel milk, and they normally depend on a little bit of grain. They grow uh, uh, maize, corn, and another year you could see it growing here. To this year, zero, nada, because of no rain. It is here on the Red Sea near the port city of Masawa that the war against drought is taking root. This new revolution has replaced guns and tanks with technology and human resolve. Sea Water Farms Eritrea and the Desert Development Foundation have joined together with international investors and the government of Eritrea to establish the world's first commercial seawater farm. It's been tough at times. Carl Hodges is the founding director. An atmospheric physicist and former director of the Environmental Research Lab at the University of Arizona, Hodges believes that growing seawater loving plants in desert areas could have a profound effect on Eritrea's future. This technology, seawater agriculture, when it's finally in all of its glory with, with maybe 20 or 30 agronomic crops, with a whole spectrum of aquatic animals will eliminate the possibility of famine in, in Eritrea forever and will be gone. And in fact, it will make Eritrea an exporter of food. So it has tremendous potential. The principal field crops of Salicornia and mangrove have many uses, including much needed ruminant feed for the country's livestock. And the greening of any portion of the Earth's surface reduces global warming, believed by many to be a contributing factor to global drought. This is a commercial scale farm right here, this Salicornia field. Salicornia is exciting because you have the green plant. When it's young, you can eat it like a vegetable. When you harvest the seed, which is about 20% of the total biomass of that seed, 30% is a high-quality vegetable oil, like safflower oil, for cooking or salad dressing. And the meal, the 70% that's left behind, is as good as soybean meal. It's high protein. You can use it to, as a supplement to human food. You can use it in animal diets. It's truly an exciting plant. This plant, if I don't break it off, has something underground that is critically important. Let me rinse it off. This sand that that plant was growing in has essentially no carbon. This root structure is a carbohydrate. Good agricultural soil, which this will become over many, many years, has 16 to 18 percent carbon. So what we've done is we've taken fossil fuel, oil from plants millions of years ago, put it into the air as carbon dioxide made our life good by using energy we're now with intelligence taking it back out generating wealth this is wealth above ground wealth and we're creating high carbon level soil for future generations this is the way to solve global warming